What up, player's choice? Player's choice. <laughs> what? <laughs> He, he, he said he's going for. He said he's going for thirty. He said he's going for thirty. What's, what's good, killer? How you living? Another sneaky source says you going for thirty tonight. Is that true? Who told you that? Martellus. Since we got everybody here, can we get? <laughs> That's your Lloyd. Player's Choice, IT, Tacoma, we in the building. Hey, shout out to Player's Choice. Appreciate y'all being here. Much love. Yeah, Player's Choice, tune in. This is my guy, let's go. Here let's go. go. Hey, Player's Choice, tap in. Shout out to everybody out there. Tap in with Player's Choice, Jamal Crawford, we in Seattle. We out here. We out here, it's nothing but love. I wish y'all was here, but you're here in spirit. We're on the scene here at the Champions of Change Celebrity All-Star Game. It is your hostess with the mostest, J-Rob in the building. We are about to give you an inside look at the Champions of Change Celebrity All-Star Game. My guy Ron is in the building. We about to show you guys everything that's going on behind the scenes and on the scene. So let me, ask, let me ask you this. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Excuse me, boss man. Yo, we know we gotta interview you, bro. We know where you from. Can you tell the, can you tell the world your name? My name is Marshall Blaze. Can you tell them what show you're from? Love is Blind, season four on Netflix. This is right here, the cabinet of the Wholesome Man community. I want everybody to know, this is the Wholesome Man. There's been big waves about the Seattle Supersonics coming back to Seattle. What do you think a team like that would mean for the city of Seattle? Oh man, it would make waves. You know, I mean, I've been here for three years now. Mm -hmm. Fell in love with Seattle. It would be amazing for the Supersonics to come back, for sure. So I know your fans want to know, how's bachelor life treating you? I'm actually no longer a bachelor. Oh! This isn't news though, this, this isn't news. news. I didn't know. You're a good guy. Love what you did for, you know, all the bachelors out there and how you, you taught us how to act right and whatnot. I give you your props, but it's just not going to work over here, all right? <laughs> and you did everything you could. I was this close. I was I almost committed. I'm here with the legend, Sue Bird. First, I just want to say congratulations on retirement. Thank you. How has life been post-retirement? It's been good, you know? I'm almost a year out now, so starting to settle in. Um, I do think the Jersey retirement was not only a, a special moment, but... It actually felt like, okay, it's finally, the door is officially closed. Who is your X Factor tonight and what are you expecting out of your team? I don't even know who's on my team yet. There's been a lot of talk about expansion in the NBA. What would it be like to have both the Storm and the Sonics back in Seattle together? It would finally feel like everything's right in the world. I played here for like six plus years with the Sonics here. I think any professional team is good for the community. So to have an NBA team back here, I'm all for it. We were the Seattle legend, Isaiah Thomas. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us here at Player's Choice. There's been a bunch of talk about the NBA expanding and potentially the Seattle Supersonics coming back to Seattle. What would that team mean for this city? It would mean everything, especially for the younger generation. Like, it's crazy for so long, kids haven't grown up with an NBA team. I remember that was that was everything for me, to come to a game and see Gary Payton be in the tunnel and slap them guys' hands. That made my dream more realistic. So hopefully within the next five years, we get a team back so these kids can have, you know, realistic dreams of trying to make it. What's, what's good, Killer? How you living? Hey, hey, I've been hoping with IT for a very long time. I, hey. Hey, since, since we was little, but so I'm, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna ask you about high school. They don't know about Curtis IT. Tacoma Dome, you pull up in the 20s. Curtis, Curtis uniforms is all blue. He pull up in the red 20s. The red socks, you know what's crazy? What's crazy about that? I didn't pull out the shoes till after we were done with our little team meeting because our coach wouldn't let us wear nothing other than the team colors. So that time I snuck out of there and then put on a historic performance. So shout out to my coach. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got chills right now because hey, it was bodies getting caught that day. It was it was a cold day in Seattle. Hey, shout out to Zeke in. You, you gonna see us. We gonna have a team in there this year. Look, look, August 5th and 6th, come out to come and watch the Zeke in. We don't need no introduction. It's the man, the myth, the legend. I just want to ask you, come on, man. You, are, you already know what time it is. You mean everything to the city, but I just want to ask you, what's your inspiration behind doing this event, throwing this event and whatnot? Well, the truth is, is we love playing basketball. We all think we still got hoop dreams. I heard you got game too. Who told you that? I, just a, a source of mine. Okay, they didn't lie. They didn't lie. They didn't lie. We love basketball, but we also love putting on for our city, for our community. So this is a way to do that, right? Bring the community together to have a great event. Um, but also for us as players, we want to hoop. So if we're going to yeah. do anything, we're going to hoop. Another sneaky source says you're going for 30 tonight. Is that true? Who told you that? How much no, you going, you going for? for? 30. 30? Don't tell nobody. <laughs> okay. I, can't I can't reveal my sources. Is it true, yes or no? You know what, you, you got some good sources. <laughs> you got some good sources. Hey, that, that means yes, y'all. Come on. 
You already got to start. Y'all know this is your arena. All right, I'll say it for you. This, this is Joe Lloyd's arena. Joe Lloyd, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. You're good. I'm doing great. You feel me? You like it? You like it? You feel me? Yeah. I see the shoes. Okay. You feel me? Get the traps. You feel me? You know we're doing something. How does it feel for you being one of like the biggest figures for Seattle basketball? You're one of the faces of this place. Like you built basketball here. What does that mean to you? It's wild. I mean, even to think about me being here for eight years, it's just like, where and when, you know? But to have my association with the Storm, the organization with championships, you know, this is why you play the game. By any means, Jewel, this is to be on by any means. Let's go. Oh! Two for a dollar? Two for a dollar? Two for a dollar? Can we get two for a dollar? Money. Oh! It's okay, we'll still get it wrong. It's the Seattle legend himself. Jamal Corver, we appreciate you coming on the platform, man. You see, out of events like this, and you being such a staple in this community, what? <laughs> he said he's going for. He said he's going for thirty. He said he's going for thirty. He said he was actually going for thirty. I don't know if he's really going to do that, but he's going to try. Yeah, he's going to try. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot a lot. What does this mean to do things for the Seattle community? Like, what do you mean to this city? You thinking? How does it feel to be such an impact? It's dope. I mean, being a kid, dreaming about being in this position, dreaming about impacting others in different ways. I mean, you can have dreams, but sometimes they don't come true. But I think when you keep your heart in the right spot, you can keep people first. Things like this happen. If you could give us your starting five off the bench team all time, who would your five be? I wouldn't put on. I wouldn't be on there. I never put myself on those lists. Any list. I would put Lou, Manu, Detlef, Kevin McHale, Havlicek. Hold on. We got one of our, another Seattle legend himself wants to talk to you. It's been a while, Ma. You know, I, I didn't hope to get you plenty of times. Yeah. Tournaments, LA Fitness, we didn't have some crazy runs. By the way, my man Shaq wanted me to tell you hi, too. That's my guy. Uh, what does this mean for the community in Seattle? Man, it's huge, man. I like to say we weather the storm until the superstars come back. You know what I'm saying? We want to bring, uh, want to get the hype up about, about uh, basketball in the city. And this is a great way of doing it. And it's all for a great cause. How you doing? How you doing, boss? John, nice to meet you. Hold on, hold on. Martellus, since we got everybody here, can we get... <laughs> these pants I made, so these are Tomonoshi. And then I have an acne, uh, acne cardigan on. Okay, okay. Yeah. You fly, man. You're not about to lace up, or you just chilling? Okay, okay. It was a honor to meet you, big bro. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, man. I think Richard Sherman might go crazy tonight. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Something's telling me that Richard might really do his thing tonight. I'm starting to get that old nostalgic 90s supersonics aura right now. I found somebody, a Player's Choice alumni. I found somebody. Come here, come here. At this point, I'm How you doing, boss? Here what it do, people? What it do? How you doing? You know you want Player's Choice right now. Player's Choice. Player's Choice. Yeah, yeah. Richard Sherman is right over there. Oh, yeah. I heard the scouting report says they're going to put the future Hall of Famer on you to stop you tonight. You think he's going to stop you? We're going to find out. Gonna... Can we get a stat line tonight? Any stat line? I'm trying to go for a good 20, a good 20 plus, man. I'm getting buckets, bro. I'm... Doug Baldwin said he was going for 30. I'm getting, well, if he's getting 30, I'm getting 40. <laughs> okay, he got the deuce. You got a deuce on today, okay, no three. One of the clutchest receivers that nobody talks about, Jermaine Curse, right now in the NFL, who are your favorite five receivers? You don't gotta be in order, but who are your favorite five receivers right now in the NFL? Uh man, uh, D-Hop, Debo Samuel, I like DK Metcalf. Okay, I'll go without Seahawks player, because yeah, I like no them all. Devontae Adams, big fan, big fan right there. I'm trying to think of some young guys that I really like. Olave from the Saints, the receiver position right now is, it's at a, it's at an all time high right now. I feel like it's at a, it's at an all time. I mean, the talent right now is loaded. We're with comedian, Seattle born and raised, always representing the 206. Always, Adam Ray, man. If you had to build a starting five basketball team, but only comedians, who are your five? Oof. Well, based on Chappelle's uh, game blouses, Prince Chappelle show sketch, I gotta throw Dave in there. My boy Brent Morin uh, can play. Rick Glassman's a little bit of a spaz, but he's got he's got game. Damn, man. Uh, oh, Segura at the four? He's kind of lost some weight. Segura at the four. I put Segura at the four, four in a heartbeat. <laughs> and I put Bird at the five. And maybe uh, maybe Whitney. Whitney Cummings has a mean jump shot. So we got to round it out. That's our six. I'm happy for Players' Choice. This is a big day for us. Me, JD, and Ron really been out here being a part of the Seattle community. Bro, I ain't going to lie. It's nothing better than doing this shit with your brothers, man. No, no. Hey, JD, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. That's Jewel Lloyd. Hey, hey, look at me. That's Jewel Lloyd. In case y'all don't know, this is the House of Jewel, all right? From here on out, we call this arena the House of Jewel. We about to get into this game. I can't wait to see who can hoop. 
and who can't hoop. So, and we gonna see, we gonna see, we gonna separate the real hoopers from the comedians Word. and the actors. Anything that number two does, I'm hyping it. Number two, be so. Oh, good. It's been a good game, you know. I can't really complain. Um, it's been some good hoops. Jay Crossover and IT, though, I gotta give it up. They still really got it. Like, I think I knew that already, but seeing them out here, you can tell they both gotta chill because they don't want to take away from their teammate. Biggest surprise, though, Jermaine Curse can really hoop. Spencer Haas and Rodney Stuckey haven't turned up yet, so something's telling me that in the second half they about to go bunkers. So we gonna see, we gonna see, but it's been a fun first half, for real. I'm gonna go that man. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh my God! How'd y'all feel about the event today? Man, talk to us, Phil. Yo, I thought it was Fire, actually, crazy people came out. I didn't expect this. This is my first time here. Been in Seattle for a year, so I wasn't, I didn't know how the city was gonna turn out for basketball, but shit was lit. I was excited to see it. It's, it's, it's a basketball city, you know. Hey, it's not just basketball in Dallas. It's basketball in Seattle too, man. I mean, today was lit, you know. Seattle is nothing like New Jersey, but it does got a, a new place in my heart, you feel me? Um, It was a crazy experience today, we don't matter. Wait, 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 what? What you mean? Seattle ain't nothing like New Jersey. So you know what we gonna do? Oh, no, hey, no. you know what we gonna do? You know, hey, now we supposed to do a post game interview, but now it's gonna do the hey, but now, now, now it's turning into a pre game the interview. With him is now it's turning. We're trying to close out a show, and he's out here. You know how I bust you up, bro. I really appreciate all the love we got today. Players Choice really is about to go global, and today was just step one of that. It's KD top five in the NBA right now. 
No. All right. I'm, Damn. Enough. 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 Kevin Durant, I want you to know, I apologize for this platform from disrespecting you. I just want you to know you're a top five player in the league. And honestly, all these haters out here, don't they don't forgot who you are. They forgot who you are for real. I don't believe that. I do believe that. In my heart, I believe it. This year, when the Phoenix Suns go for it all, bro, I already know what it is. They're going to have to owe you an apology. KD, you're top five. Do not let these fools confuse you. You know who you are. You Slim Reaper. PC out. <clears throat>